Hi everybody, this is Jeff from Rick Robotics. As we all know, having a level build plate is incredibly important when trying to get high quality prints from your 3D printer. So today, I'm going to show you my preferred method for leveling your Tronxy P802MA 3D printer. This is just my method. There's obviously a lot of other methods available. This is a method that I have been using for quite some time and today I wanted to share it with you. I hope you enjoy. Let's get it started. First thing we're going to need is a level, a pen, a ruler, preferably something with millimeters. We'll need a business card or something similar. And then draw out one millimeter lines on the top of the card. Ideally, we want about a three millimeter difference between the nozzle and the bottom of the sensor. The next thing, we're going to measure the level of the surface we're working with which in this case will be my office desk. And then we make sure that the desk is level with the bed. You're going to want to take several different measurements on the bed to be sure that all angles are level. And if they aren't, we go ahead and adjust these position screws on the bottom of the bed. So we're going to do that really quick here. And once that is done, we can move on to our next step. All right, so it looks like we got it. We have pretty much complete level all the way around. So that's looking pretty good. The third step is we are going to level this. So I'm just going to set this in the middle somewhere and I'm going to put the level right on top of the brackets here. So here you can see this side will need to come up. In order to do this we're just going to twist these ball screws here and we'll do that by turning the connectors that fasten it to the stepper motors. And once we've got a level in the center we'll just move it to the left and level it there and the right and it should be just fine after that. I like to do that just to make sure that there's no bends in the carriage bar. Next step we are going to need a metal spatula or something that will trip the sensor in case of an emergency stop. So this will not level the bed, obviously, but it will serve as a test. And there, it saw the sensor. We can go back in to prepare. And then auto home. And take it right back through its menu again. Now you're still going to want to keep this handy because if it starts to put pressure on the bed, that means that your nozzle is too far down or your sensor is too far up and it needs more calibration. So we're going to let it take its course here, but we do have this to stop it just in case. So our nozzle has reached the bed without any problems. So now we're going to pull out the business card again and just slide it between the nozzle and the build plate to get an idea if we have a good gap between them. This gap will depend on the material that you use. Uh, my business card here is about 0.4 mil, so that works really well for me and this seems to be just about right. 
So we're going to go ahead and give it a test print. So we're back and we have our little printed test piece here. I just printed out a um, little overhang test that I found on Thingiverse. I am leaving the link to that in the description below here. Well guys, I hope you like this video. I hope this is helpful. Like I said before, this is just my method of how I level the, the Troxy with the auto bed leveling sensor. I know there's other methods out there. You can definitely check those out on YouTube as well. This is the way that I found worked well for me. So if you guys like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you hate my method of leveling it, give me a thumbs down. Either way, leave me a comment, please. Let me know if this has worked for you or if you prefer something else. Even if there's a way I can tweak this a little bit, I'd be really interested in hearing it. Uh, this printer is actually my favorite one right now. It has really great print quality when you get it tuned in just right. So I've actually been very impressed with it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me know that you, uh, you care about what I'm doing. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.